force has focused on strengthening discipline and adherence to human rights by introducing disciplinary courts in all districts across the country. The introduction of disciplinary courts marks a significant milestone for the Uganda Police Force. With all these achievements, spanning from March 4th, 2018, as the Inspector General of Police, Okoth Martin Ochola, preparing his handover report as he expects to retire from law enforcement body this year, Okoth Ochola, 66, whose five-year contract ends on March 4th, 2024, was appointed police boss on March 4th, 2018, replacing General Kale Kaihura, the Army General, he was his second in command. Police officials said President Museven is yet to renew Ochola's contract, a scenario which is still not clear. Ochola's close associates said he has spent the past few months updating his handover report as he prepares to quit. Ochola took over at a time when police force was under intense criticism for violation of human rights and suppression of civil liberties. He disbanded several police units which were blamed for illegal arrests, detentions and participation in crimes. Ochola's reign also witnessed increased investment in security, infrastructure such as security cameras and construction of housing facilities for senior officers. Born on 19 September 1958 in Agumiti village, Mulanda sub-county, West Wodama County, in Tororo district, Ochola attended Abweli Primary School, an academic journey, so through to Makerere University, the largest and old public university in Uganda, where he studied law and graduated with a Bachelor of Laws degree in 1983. His career as a police officer started way back 1988, a nine-month basic training from Cavalier Police Training School, then rising up in ranks to his current position as being the 15th IGP in the history of Uganda police since 1899. 